Hi there, I'm Heather Zampano with IMST Telehealth Consulting, and welcome to video number three in our telehealth program development series. In this video, I'll be discussing how to implement your plan. Implementing is the most fun of the whole process because you and your team will work to bring all your thoughts and plans into existence. It is during this phase that IMST Telehealth Consulting adds tremendous value to your organization because we are dedicated project managers that use formal project management practices to keep you on track. In many cases, clinical departments are very busy and it's helpful to have our expertise to ensure efficient completion and coordination of the many different tasks required to implement the program. We use a detailed work plan to record and track progress and to highlight dependencies between tasks. Once the work plan is underway, we keep all stakeholders updated on status, manage risks, and work with your team to resolve any issues that may arise. Once the program moves to operation mode, the focus will shift to executing the performance monitoring plan and coaching you and your team on conducting the ongoing program monitoring and evaluation activities. Following the plans and specifications established in phase two, this step ensures that equipment is purchased and installed, clinical protocols are finalized, contracts are implemented, operational processes and procedures are revised if needed and communicated, staff are hired or assigned and trained according to their roles, facilities are established, and all aspects of the telemedicine program are tested to ensure that the program is ready to begin delivering the targeted services using the planned program model from phase two. During phase three, all project deliverables will be accomplished. Products created during the implementation include finalized clinical protocols for new service, executed contracts and agreements, policies and procedures, and patient informed consent materials. Another part of the implement phase is the monitor and improve step, which is the ongoing monitoring and evaluation of your program and the identification, assessment, and implementation of any program improvements. We'll teach you how to perform these processes so you can determine if the program is achieving the desired clinical and business goals. In addition to identifying necessary changes or improvements, this step helps maximize the utilization of your technology and track the data needed to report to payers, regulators, and oversight agencies. Monitoring and evaluation will be repeated at intervals as defined in your monitoring plan and will become part of regular operations. For performance monitoring, data analysis determines whether the outcome was different from what was expected. The results and interpretation of data analyses should be incorporated in a report and presented at regular team meetings. Improvement logs and data collection documents are critical for the evaluation process. Collecting data and maintaining improvement logs will allow your team to track program performance and identify areas for potential improvement. Based on the analysis of the data, program enhancements and modifications may need to be made. The team can refer to the process improvement plan that was developed in phase two to implement the changes. If any further changes are required, we are always here for you to help improve, expand, and grow your program for maximum quality outcomes and financial success. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the whole series to be very valuable and informative. And when you're ready to develop your telehealth program, I hope you'll think of IMST Telehealth Consulting. We will help you embrace telehealth with confidence and clarity. Take care. Bye.